My name's Angelo and welcome to We Want Picks. Every week we break down full fight cards, giving you our picks, our bets, and our fantasy plays. So make sure you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. And this breakdown is brought to you by Bet You Play to Earn. Bet You Play to Earn is the world's first play to earn sports and esports betting game. Check it out at betyouearn.com. That's bet the letter U earn.com. Next up at UFC 271, we have the co main event of the evening. We have two heavyweight bangers, a fun heavyweight matchup, two guys with solid chins and incredible power. It could be a snooze fest. But I doubt it. I think this will be a fun one. We've got Derek Lewis versus Tai Tuivasa. Derek Lewis, 26 and 8. He's 4 and 1 in his last five. Coming off the first round KO over Dawkins. Tai Tuivasa, 14 and 3 overall. 4 and 1 in his last five. Riding a four fight knockout streak. Derek Lewis, every, every Derek Lewis breakdown is literally exactly the same. This is going to be no different. Derek Lewis has absolute power in his hands. He has sledgehammers for hands. He has incredible power, ridiculously low output, almost as if he's just so exhausted to swing those giant sledge fist hands. Like he just waits, waits, waits. All right, fine, I'll do it. And then throws it, and then that's the end of anybody's night that it lands on. It's nuts. His volume is so incredibly low. Go back, look at his stats. It's almost embarrassing to see how few strikes he lands in some of these fights. But if he touches, he knocks you out. He is literally the all-time knockout king in UFC history. If you come in, you leave an opening, he will throw a heavy punch. And that's when he makes it makes it happen. He has no problem sitting and waiting. He has no problem baiting you. No problem accepting a takedown, knowing that he eventually will get back up and get it done. The dude was one minute away from losing a very clear decision to um, Volkov and one punch changed absolutely everything. Curtis Blades was taken down and he, no problem, no problem. I'll be ready for it. Bang, caught him on the way in. He doesn't panic. He takes his time. He has no problem being incredibly boring. And when he sees an opportunity, he takes it. So Derek Lewis is never the more technical striker Never the faster guy, never the more well-rounded guy, but always the more powerful guy and has proven time and time again that it works for him and it's the only thing that matters. Tai Tuivasa, he's also a heavy-handed striker. He's got solid volume. He mixes in leg kicks really well. He moved to American Kickboxing Academy a few camps ago and it showed when he did. He was always fast and powerful for his size, but now he's just sharper, more technically sound recently. Tuivasa has fantastic leg kicks, a piercing jab, a big overhand. His takedown defense is just okay at 50%. uh, And he has zero, literally zero offensive takedowns in his UFC career. I don't think his takedown defense will matter in this fight. And you could argue that Tai Tuivasa's biggest asset is his chin because he does have a cement head. He's not easily knocked out. But his chin was tested against Greg Hardy. Greg Hardy cracked him. Greg Hardy rocked him. And it looked a little dicey there. He was able to turn the tables and knock Greg Hardy out. But Greg Hardy doesn't hit as hard as Derek Lewis. And Greg Hardy doesn't have the same experience as Derek Lewis. He just has a few fights. And if Derek Lewis landed that exact same shot on Tai Tuivasa that Greg Hardy did, Tai Tuivasa would have just been another statistic and he would have been knocked out cold. It's such a tough pick because of that. Derek Lewis has the ultimate equalizer at any moment. And he has proved it is literally at any moment moment he's not first round or bust that power is there ready willing and able late in the third round so Tai Tuivasa like every other person we break down is the better more technical striker certainly with his hands definitely with his low kicks he'll have better footwork his chin this will be the best chin that Derek Lewis ever fought but is it enough I don't know I like Tai Tuivasa to win I love him in the underdog spot. I love the DraftKings pricing. I love the odds. But damn, man, Derek Lewis just does whatever he wants, whenever he wants, and just makes everybody look stupid who picks against him. What do you think? If I'm tied to Ivasa in this fight, I, I I mentioned my breakdown. I would not throw a single strike. And he's not going to do this, so this is stupid. But I would not throw a single strike in the first round. Not a, not a punch. 
not a kick. I would dance around the octagon because what's the fans going to start doing? They're going to start booing. And where are they at? They're in Houston. And where's Derek Lewis from? He's in Houston. And he mentioned before, after the gone fight, because the gone fight was in Houston, he said, listen, I don't want to fight in Houston anymore. I don't. I, the pressure got to me. I don't want to fight in Houston anymore. He said, I don't want to fight five rounds, and I don't want to fight in Houston. Well, guess what? He's back in Houston, and if I'm tied to Ivasa, I do nothing the first round, let the crowd boo, and no, Derek Lewis is going to be the one that's going to feel that pressure. It sounds stupid, but he admitted the pressure before. When he starts hearing those boos, he's going to be like, oh, no, here we go again, another boring fight. I got to put on for my fans. He, that's when he's going to start moving forward. He will start doing stupid stuff. He'll do that little switch kick. I can see him even trying a, a couple times. He'll take. He'll, he'll do like a, a, a like a fake takedown type thing. I can see him doing that. And that's when you can have your success. But this is Bam Bam. We know what's going to happen. He's going to come forward. He's going to start throwing bombs. And I think what he's going to, he's going to be the Greg Hardy in this fight of, of him versus Greg Hardy. I think he's going to come in. He's going to think that he has Derek Lewis hurt. Derek Lewis loves playing possum, just kind of hunching over. Then he throws the bomb. I see the exact same thing happening. I think Taito Ivasa comes out. He brings the pressure. I'm bam, bam. I'm going to do this. I think I have him hurt. And then that Derek Lewis is going to come. That Derek Lewis right hand is going to come over the top and hurt Tai Tuivasa. I, I'm going to be polling for Tai Tuivasa. I hope he upsets Derek Lewis because I'm kind of over the whole Derek Lewis thing. But the dude just keeps knocking people out. So until he doesn't, you know, obviously the Gon fight was a little bit different, but you know, Gon's a different animal altogether. So I'm going Derek Lewis in this fight because I think it's an out, out, out war. And if you're not picking Derek Lewis in a war, I don't know what you're doing. So I'm Derek Lewis. The, the problem is you say you say a war. He throws like no punches, <laughs> and that's in exchanges, the problem. Like, he throws punches when because pe people don't get in exchanges with him. He doesn't throw volume because and, and why would you, right? Why would you want to get in exchange with this guy? But when he does get in exchanges with people, that's when he starts throwing the flurries, and unfortunately, tied to Ivasa, bam, bam, he's gonna come in and he's gonna want to try and knock out Derek Lewis, and God bless him if he does. But I think there's gonna be a lot of those exchanges, and you can't survive them. You just can't survive them. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I totally understand. And, you know, every Derek Lewis fight is exactly the same. I just can't bring myself to not pick the more technically sound striker in a striking matchup. I just can't. Because Ty also has very real power and a very good chin. If I didn't see Greg Hardy rob, wobble Ty to Ivasa, then I, he would be the clearest pick in the world. Because, I, I, you know, his chin was like something really special. But... Listen, I'm still going tied to Ivasa here. I got to go with the more technical striker. I'm really hoping he implements a heavy leg kick game plan. Just light up Derek's legs. Just light his legs up. Slow. He's already kind of slow. I honestly think I think people have tried that before. I think Volkov just like ate him alive. He just doesn't. It doesn't. It just doesn't phase. <laughs> nothing phases this guy. It's incredible to watch. No, like he doesn't it, check it, him. It, He'll just sit there and eat him and just stare at you and just just. Oh. Oh, oh, just waiting with no, it. No, it is crazy. It is crazy. Uh, you know how I'm going to make my money on this fight, though? I'm not going to bet either one of these guys, but I'm going to have both of them in Monkey Knife Fight Knockout Kings. So Monkey Knife Fight has a prop game called Knockout Kings. You grab any three fighters on the entire card, any three. You throw them in there, and if just one of them wins by KO or TKO, you get paid. If two, you get paid even more. Three, even more. It's super fun. And in a card like this where you have basically have a guaranteed knockout, you throw both these guys in, you grab somebody else for the third, and you'll get yourself paid. We want picks.com slash MKF. They will match your deposit. Promo code WWP. They'll match your deposit. Use the free money. You put in a hundred, they'll give you a hundred. Take the free hundred. Put it on knockout kings. Put both of these people in there. Grab a third person you think can win by KO or TKO, and you will end up with a lot more money after. It's that simple. Don't bet on this fight. Don't bet on Derek to win by knockout. Don't bet on Ty to win. Don't bet on that. Throw the money in knockout kings because you know one of these guys is going to win by stoppage. Jakey boy, what do you think of DraftKings? Well, I'll say he does not go the distance. It's minus 550 on this fight. Yeah. So it's, it is so heavy favorites to yeah. That's a perfect example. Literally, so Monkey Knife Fight is daily fantasy. It's not gambling. It's not betting. So even if you're in a state that doesn't allow sports betting, Monkey Knife Fight is daily. If you have DraftKings, you have Monkey Knife Fight. It's that simple. You just said it's minus 550. Fight does not go to the decision. On Monkey Knife Fight, the odds don't change. They've already set the payouts. You get a 25% return. You bet 100 bucks, you get 125 back. 
It is literally free money. Throw both of these people in there and get your free money. That's the sales pitch. I have not missed a monkey, a knockout king prop in forever. The strike line is funny because Chris, who sets these lines, was texting me today. He's like, this is, it's impossible to do Derek Lewis strike lines. Because what do you do? Put eight on there? You know what I mean? Like, it's impossible to do his strike line. So this is actually a hard line because Derek Lewis volume is just so freaking low. It's probably more and more though. I do think it's more and more. I think Ty can take a few of the shots. The leg kicks will start to add up. So he's definitely a more. And Derek Lewis, maybe, you know, maybe he'll be a little busier than usual. You think it's less, less? Yeah, I, I honestly think Ty Tui Vasa comes across in the first exchange, something happens, and it's probably going to be bad for Ty. But I think something happens in the first exchange. Um, I mean, this is pay-per-view, co-main event. These dudes are going to be hyped up in front of the Houston fans. They're, I mean, this is going to get crazy fast. I see this inside of 30 seconds, uh, less, yeah. less for me. I, I, I'm looking forward to it. It should be a really fun, fun fight. Do not bet on this fight. Don't bet on it. Head over to Monkey Knife Fight. Play Knockout Kings. Get yourself some free cash. We want picks.com slash MKF. And if you want yourself 50 free dollars, we want picks.com slash bets. Sign up with any one of our five betting partners. Make a deposit. Let me know after you do, and I'll send you 50 bucks as a thank you for supporting us and our partners.